Dear listener, welcome to another land of Nod short tales. On this episode, we're traveling way back in time. The tale takes place in a small village situated in northern Suffolk. The tranquil English village of Woolpit, nestled amidst rolling hills and verdant fields, was home to a community known for its warmth and hospitality. Its inhabitants, a tapestry of farmers, artisans, and tradesmen, shared a deep connection to the land, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of nature. In the 12th century, during the reign of King Stephen, an extraordinary event shattered the village's tranquility. A pair of enigmatic children, their skin bearing an uncanny emerald hue, emerged from the depths of the nearby wolf pits, their appearance as startling as their sudden arrival. The children, a boy and a girl, spoke in an unfamiliar tongue, their voices echoing the whispers of a forgotten language. Their eyes, deep pools of emerald green, held a wisdom that belied their tender age. They wore unfamiliar garments, fashioned from materials unknown to the villagers, adding to the air of mystery that surrounded them. The villagers, initially bewildered and apprehensive, approached the children with caution. Yet, despite their strange appearance and enigmatic origins, there was an aura of gentle innocence that radiated from the children, disarming the villagers' fears. Richard de Calm, a respected landowner and pillar of the community, took the children under his care, providing them with a safe haven within his manor. The villagers, touched by Richard's compassion, rallied around the children, offering them warmth, sustenance, and a sense of belonging. The children, despite their linguistic barrier, exhibited a remarkable intelligence and eagerness to learn. They quickly grasped the rudiments of the village tongue, their voices gradually blending into the harmonious melody of the community. As the days turned into weeks, the children's green complexion gradually faded, their skin regaining its natural hue. Yet, their eyes retained their emerald depths, a constant reminder of their extraordinary origins. The children's tales, when they finally came, painted a vivid picture of a land far removed from the familiar fields and forests of Woolpit. They spoke of a place shrouded in perpetual twilight, where the sun never cast its golden rays. Yet the darkness was not oppressive, but rather a comforting embrace. They spoke of a land where the trees bore not fruit, but stars, and the rivers flowed with liquid moonlight. The villagers listened, captivated by the children's tales, their imaginations ignited by the prospect of a world beyond their own. Some believed the children were emissaries from a realm beyond human comprehension, while others whispered of mischievous fairies or displaced sprites. The children, however, remained steadfast in their assertion. They were from a land known as St. Martin's Land, a place hidden from the eyes of ordinary men. They longed to return, their hearts yearning for the familiar embrace of their distant home. The years passed, and the children integrated into the village life, their green skin a mere memory, their origins a fading legend. The boy, frail from the outset, succumbed to an unknown illness, leaving his sister to carry the torch of their unique heritage. The girl, now a young woman, grew into a pillar of the community, her kindness and wisdom earning her the respect and admiration of all who knew her. She eventually married a local man, blending her unique lineage into the tapestry of Woolpit's history. The green children of Woolpit, their story shrouded in mystery, became an indelible part of the village's folklore a testament to the community's embrace of the extraordinary. Their tale has echoed through the centuries, a reminder of the boundless wonders that lie beyond the confines of our perceived reality. I'd wish to take this opportunity again in thanking you, dear listener, for taking the time and joining me in another short tale from the Land of Nod. Stay in the light.